guys, it's Tiffany Bean Cosplay here and today I will be doing a review on a selection of the Yaya Han Cosplay Fabrics. Um, Spotlight was kind enough to send me a sample of some of the fabrics that they will be stocking later in the year, um, very, very soon. So those of you in Australia, you do not have to wait long. Yeah! Um, so up first, I have got the Oil Slick Normal and the Oil Slick in the Mermaid. So here's a Normal Oil Slick. Now this it is super, super soft. It just feels amazing and it's stretchy. And it can stretch both ways, so it stretches more that way, I think, than it does here. So it stretches more one way than it does the other. Um, it's, it's relatively thick, but not as thick as some of the others. And depending on how you hit it with the lights, um, you might be able to see it there. The backing is actually sheer. It is not completely solid. Um, so for this one, it obviously doesn't matter because you've got the whole cover. Um, so this would be great. I'm not 100% sure what for yet, but bodysuits, just cool textures and colours. And it's got a pretty decent drape to it as well. So you could use it as a cape or whatever tickles you can't fancy really. Um, so that's the oil slick normal and this actually does come in other colours now um, which is really really cool. So the mermaid is the same but obviously it's just got the mermaid pattern. As you can see, get the lighting right. Yeah. The only thing with this one, it does have the same backing. Um, so between the scales, if you hit the light behind it, so you can kind of still see, you can see my door through it. Um, which on the whole probably won't matter, I don't think people really notice it, but just bear that in mind, the backing of this is sheer. Um, but yeah, I don't think there'll be any issues and people should be looking that close anyway. Um, and like the normal oil stick, this is stretchy. But obviously the more you stretch it, it starts to get a little bit transparent. Um, so if you are making this for a bodysuit or anything, just bear in mind that you may need to wear like a skin toned bodysuit or Spanx, something underneath it. Um, so yeah, again, it's soft. It feels amazing. It'd be great if you want to just make a mermaid tail, but a fabric one, not like one of the silicon latex ones. So that is a really, really nice fabric. Up next, we have the stretch pleather. Now I've got this in two colours. I've got it here in silver and black. This feels, I don't even know how to describe it, it's almost like a rubbery kind of texture. It feels really, really nice. I think it would make a ridiculously comfortable bodysuit. Um, this is, it's solid, you're not going to see through this one at all. Um, it would be great, you could even cover foam with it if you're making armour. Um, so I've heard a lot of people sort of say that these are targeted at bodysuits, and yes they probably are, but don't be afraid to think outside the box, you can absolutely use these for anything. Um, even not cosplay, you can use these fabrics outside of cosplay. So this one doesn't really have a grain to it at all. Um, get it. As you can see it's it's super smooth um, and it's stretchy. It's stretchy that way and the lighting is like really bad in here and it stretches the other way. It's probably a pretty equal stretch each side, a little bit less on one. Um, so if you're, yeah, if you're making a bodysuit you can put this anyway, you're going to have a lot of room and a lot of give in here so it's yeah it's stretchy it's smooth and yeah it kind of has like a rubbery kind of feel to it and um with these just bear in mind they smell a little bit weird um i'm sure that'll go in time but don't be freaked out when you get it and you decide what is that smell so that one in the silver uh it's a really nice shade of silver I'll try and get it in decent light So it's just a standard silver. Um, 
it's not glossy or anything like that. It's more of like a, a matte metallic kind of thing, which is I know it's kind of like an oxymoron, but yeah, again, this one's smooth. There's no grain to it. Um, so this would be really good if you're making sort of metal armor. You can even weather it up a bit, cover foam, anything again. Um, have like a spacesuit kind of thing. So yeah, this again is a really beautiful fabric, soft. Again, another drape. So if you've got like a spacey cape or anything, or a skirt, anything that's drapey, um, you can use it for that. It doesn't have to be a bodysuit. Up next, we have the jumbo stretch, and now I've got this one in black, white, and red. So these are actually really nice. They're kind of similar to the the dance dance. How would you want to say it? Spandex, nylon, lycra kind of stuff that's currently in stores like Spotlight and Craft at the moment, but it's it's a lot thicker. Um, it's got a really cool shine to it and when I say shine it's not like a, a glossy thing it's just you can kind of see it it's got a sheen to it um it does have a slightly ripped texture very 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 slight and this camera is probably not going to focus on it which it's not going to but yeah it's um it feels smooth but if you look at it up close it almost has a very very fine ripped texture to it now this stuff is super stretchy it is amazing so it's as you can see, it's stretching usually that way, and just as much that way. Um, so yeah, this would be amazing for bodysuits. And the thing I love about this, it is really thick. It's if you hold it up to the light, you can just see through it. Um, but even if I put my hand right on that, you can't see through like my fingers or anything like that um so i actually do have some of the the spandex stuff that's in stores now and i'll show you the difference of how much thinner it is um so for me holding that up i can see through straight away and you probably can take it in. so you can kind of see through the door there and the lighting kind of failed that theory but i can see my fingers right through the edges here which you probably can't on there but this is what's currently in stores at the moment um it is there you go you can see the door straight through it's a lot thinner um so yeah this is the Yaya Han one is like a much yeah so you can't see the door very much through there yeah I don't know if that's a reflection of the door either way it's a lot thicker um which is great if you're making bodysuits, and especially with the white. White can be such a hard colour to find something that's stretchy that doesn't just go totally see-through when you're wearing it. This one will to a degree because obviously it's white, but again, you can not even really see the door through here. Um, same, barely there, really fine ribbed kind of texture. Probably not as prominent as a black. But that's probably because of the color of it so yeah it's um you can just see the faint handprint but i think if you had nude colored underwear and things like that you would be totally fine wearing this as a bodysuit and then in the red which i totally dropped it's not there the red is the color is just amazing it's got such a fantastic sheen to it um which the lighting is so yeah, I'm just showing you these because they're different colours, but as you saw when I had the black, it's stretchy, it can be used, you can even use this for belt sashes, uh, headscarves, anything that you want, um, you, and you could, you could cover armour with it, don't be afraid thinking because it's not leathery looking, you can do whatever you want with these fabrics. Um, so yeah, again, it's another thick, heavy duty one, and there goes Jinxie Bell. Um, we have... The liquid leather, this is my favourite. It looks like your wet look liquid latex. It just feels like, I don't know, it feels like liquid. I don't know how to describe it. Liquid leather is an amazing name for it. And I've sort of given this to my family to squeeze it and they're like, Ooh. it's, yeah, it, it feels as amazing as it looks. It is super, super smooth. Um, there's 
there is a bit of a, a texture on there, but to touch, you can't feel it. It's just, you can see the reflections in it. It's amazing. And this is stretchy and it's, it doesn't feel real thick, but again, it's one that you're not going to see through this one at all. So it's stretching. It stretches both ways. So it has a quite a decent stretch that way. And then in the other way, it stretches even more. And you can see when it's stretched, you're not getting any cracking or anything in there. I know a lot of fabrics, as soon as you stretch, you kind of lose that coating. But that is not happening at all. And when I put it back, you can't even tell that it's been stretched. And I think that's a big difference with the IR fabrics. That's what they do. They don't crack. They don't crinkle. They don't kind of get a funny texture when you stretch them and then put them back. They return to how they should be. So this one, yeah, ideally for me, this is, this is going to be my cat bodysuit. And I've been eyeballing fabric like this for so long. Um, so yeah, you could, again, you could use it for anything. I can see people in cool Star Wars stuff walking around with this. You could use it for boot covers. Um, anything like that. There is no limits here. Up next we have the super heads. And I honestly had no idea what to expect when I saw this fabric online. I did think the pattern, I thought they would be bigger. Um, they're actually really quite small, but the more I look at it, the more I really like it. If I can get, so you can see the texture. There we go. It's kind of cute, huh? Um, and you can you can feel a bit of a texture, it feels really cool actually, and again this one, it does feel like a rubber more than anything, it has a very rubbery feel to it. This fabric is is quite thick, um, the thing to note with this fabric though, it stretches slightly on one side, not the other, so if I can get it, okay. so it doesn't stretch at all this way, there is no give in there, but the other way, It's a decent amount of stretch in there. So if you wanted to use this for a bodysuit out of push, you probably could. You just have to bear in mind that it stretches one way, so you would have to take into consideration your measurements for that. Um, or it's great for like feature panels on your costume. It would be great to cover things. It would be great for so many things and with a lot of these that are like a pleathery texture if you want to change the color slightly you probably could you could paint it you could weather it there's so many things you could do with this um i'm really excited to use this i actually have a bodysuit planned for my sister and i'm going to be using this in panels for this one um but yeah it feels really cool like the textured rubber i don't know it just feels amazing and then up next we have all of the ultra premiums. Now these are just, I've heard people, some people refer to these as the unicorn and they truly are. The black is a totally matte black. So it's not shiny, it's not glossy, it is not metallic-y. It's almost like a chalkboard, but soft. These do not have a like a leathery grain or anything to them they are super super smooth and they're totally opaque you're not gonna see through these when you stretch it um even back is cool it's kind of like the jumbo stretch fabric um yeah then you can't see through it um this obviously stretches like there's no tomorrow and it stretches every way just stretches any way you want it to it just feels amazing it is silky smooth is that one that smells really weird um but again don't even worry about that it will totally go away um so yeah it's completely matte so this would actually be good for um like a2 from year that's what i plan on using this for because it's just it's a matte it's not a shiny fabric um yeah, I just love this stuff. So yeah, smooth, no grain. Um, you could use this for armor. You can use it for bodysuits. You can use it for tops. You can use it for whatever you want. 
So in the other colours, it works the same way. Um, so I do have this in the gold. And anybody who's following my Instagram will see that I've actually started using the gold. Um, I'm currently making Sandstorm Katarina. And I have been using this for the trimming. Um, so again, it's really beautiful shade of gold. It's not too yellow or too brassy. It's just a nice colour. Um, so the camera is kind of making it look like a green gold. Which is really weird. It's yellower in person than it's looking on the screen. Um, so yeah, and anyone who was following my Instagram will see that I did a little sewing thing with this because I was actually really worried given it's like a rubbery faux leather, leather kind of fabric that it would actually stick in the sewing machine because I do not have a Teflon foot. So I was really worried when I started using it, but it just glides through. I've got just a standard foot that my sewing machine came with. I do use leather needles. I've had, I've had so many needles snap and it scares me. Like it absolutely terrifies me. That one's going to go fling it up in my eye or something. So I always use leather needles. Whether that makes a difference, I don't know, but it feeds through the sewing machine without getting stuck. It is super, super smooth. It's not sticky. So if you have a standard sewing machine, you shouldn't need to powder or put anything on it and you shouldn't need a Teflon foot or anything like that. It's not going to hurt and it might make it a bit easier, but I was going through four layers of this stuff with a layer of upholstery fabric and it just straight through. Um, so I will try and add that into this video if I can figure out how. I'm still pretty new to making videos. Um, if I can't figure it out, check out my Instagram and you will see just a short video of this going through the sewing machine on there. So that's a gold colour and it is a, um, I'm going to say matte, but it has a pearlescent sheen to it. So it's not glossy, it's just, yeah, it's like a pearl, like you see your pearl white cars and it just look a bit different, it's pearly. And in the, what is it, in the red, again the red's a really cool colour, it kind of looks like just a standard red but then you see it in different lights and again it's got that same pearly tone. Um, so this is actually looking redder on the screen than it is in person. It, it's kind of looking pink on the screen. Um, it's more of like a like a dull down fire engine red. Um, it's kind of, if you see the shield in the background, it's like a, a matte dull version of that more so than how pink it's looking on screen. Um, I'm sure the other colours probably look nice. Um, but again, it's got that pearlescent sheen to it. Um, and it's not probably going to show you. No. It's just looking like a scuba knit on there, which is totally random. Um, so yeah, it stretches. And this is another one. When you stretch it, there is, you can see there is no cracking whatsoever on there. It goes back to normal, you've got no creases. I can stretch it as far as I want and you're not going to have any issues with this stuff cracking. So yeah, that's the colour of that one. And up last, for the review, we have Ultra Premium. Oh, this is what I'll be using uh, to make a bodysuit for my sister. And it's looking like a really weird bluey purple on the screen. I have no idea what is going on with this camera. It's probably, it's really dull and cloudy outside. Um, we just had a winter here in Australia, so that's probably something to do with it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just got a really amazing sheen to it. I don't even know how to describe it. It's it's almost like a dusty purple, which I know it totally doesn't look like that on screen, but it's got a brighter pearlescent sheen to it. Um, so I've seen people use this for the old school Catwoman, like the one in the purple, and I, that's actually what I'm making for my sister. Um, and purple is her favourite colour. So I'm um, super excited to get that one made for her. Um, yeah, it's, it's a much richer purple on the back which is just looking blue on screen. Um, 
So the colour it looks here is pretty much, no maybe not, it's just purple, okay. The back is purple, um, it'd probably feel weird but out of push you could probably even use these fabrics inside out because they do look pretty good on the wrong side. Um, so yeah, again, smooth, no grainy texture or anything like that. You can kind of see a little bit of the pearl, kind of, I could just be seeing things. Um, yeah. Again, super stretchy. You've got no cracking, no nothing. Um, yeah, you can kind of get a hint of the brighter purple there from the sheen. Um, so yeah, I highly, highly recommend these fabrics. Um, see, obviously a huge, huge shout out and thank you to Spotlight for contacting me and asking if I wanted to receive those fabrics. I did not expect to receive that much. Um, yeah, so thank you to Spotlight and everybody there for recognising cosplayers and for bringing Yaya's fabric range here. Um, in regards to things that I'm sure that I'm sure people are going to ask, in regards to when the fabric should be hitting stores here, um, I believe that should be mid late October. Um, obviously, things can change; it will just depend on distribution and things like that. Um, so yeah, there is not a long wait at all. Um, anybody hitting up Oz Comic Con. Brisbane and Sydney they will have samples there so definitely head on over and, and check those out you will not regret it um in regards to pricing I've heard a lot of people sort of wonder how much they're going to be with that I honestly I have no idea whatsoever um I know Spotlight currently has a cosplay range of fabrics at the moment I'm hoping they're going to be a similar kind of price but again it depends on what on what Spotlight can get them for as to what they can sell them for um, and I know this isn't the entire Yaya Han range. I'm not too sure if Spotlight will be getting the other fabrics then. I hope it does because there are, there are so many of those fabrics I want to try as well, like the Desert Robe and yeah, I hope. But at the moment, these are the samples that I've been given. Um, so I would safely assume these ones are definitely going to be in store soon. Um, and as for the other colours, again, that would probably depend on stock distribution. Um, yeah, so... Keep an eye out in your local Spotlight store. Um, don't be afraid to contact them if you want to know more. Um, if anybody's got any feedback on what they'd like to see in Spotlight stores, even non-cosplay fabric, just fabrics in general, um, let me know in the comments below um, and I will I'll read them all. I will pass things on to Spotlight with suggestions, feedback. If you have any questions about the fabrics I've just shown you, again, just comment below. Um, I do my best to answer them. If you don't want to comment on here on YouTube, um, you can hit me up on Facebook, Instagram. Yeah. So that's the fabrics. And hopefully I've covered everything and shown you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope I answered your questions. So thanks. Bye. So that, bag. that was it for the first bag. So up next. Of the, I think they're, they're five size, I think it's a pentagon, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, um, Jinx! Yeah, my cats. Um, yeah, where was I? Yes. <laughs>